You know, when I take them to shows, especially the bus, everybody has a story. The generation, my generation grew up with them. You know, I talked to one guy that had 500,000 miles into a bus he had bought brand new. He still owns it. It's been into every state. And you listen to stories like that, you know, when they remember growing up that their parents had Volkswagens. And it was because people could afford them. You know, they had pretty good gas mileage. There was a phase where people just wanted to get rid of them. They would give them, give them away, just wanted them out of their yard. But now it's kind of changed back to where uh, people remember having them as a kid and they wanted them, they, now they want them back. And uh, so it's kind of driven the price up. I've owned that car since 1981, but I just finished it in about 2008 did everything on it. Did the interior, the paint, the bodywork. Found all the parts. Most of them are uh, new old stock parts. They're fairly easy to work on and the parts used to be pretty cheap to get or affordable, but the rarer parts have gotten extremely expensive. But they're still relatively, they're easy to work on, they're easy to fix. The parts are accessible. Still good beginner mechanic to start. You know, the engines haven't changed. They're still pretty simple. You know, you can repair most of the stuff on the side of the street. Doesn't have electronic stuff in it. You can generally, if the brakes go out, you can use emergency brake because it's cable. You can just generally get them home.